what's going on everyone and welcome back to Restoring Style. Before we get into this episode, if you're enjoying this series so far, make sure you are hitting the like button. It helps me out massively. But today, of course, we've got a cup final special as we take on Gezmetan in the League Cup final. And then we take on Chiajna in the Romanian Cup final. But I should talk about the league to start off with because we have actually won the league. Uh, of course, this was something that was fully expected of us. You know, that was one of our kind of minimum e expectation that we were to win the league. And I'm happy that we've managed to do it again, of course. Uh, two seasons in a row now that I've won the league since I've started up this save. And that makes it four league titles in a row for Stal Bucharest. So we are really starting to dominate this league. I'm going to talk about the league more in detail in another episode that I have coming out after this one. As I said, of course, today is about the League Cup and uh, the Romanian Cup final. Uh, you can see we're in fantastic form coming into this game. We haven't actually lost a domestic game since we lost to Dinamo Bucharest all the way in October. You know, it just shows how dominant we are now in domestic competitions. And we're going for the domestic treble, of course. We've got the league secured. We need these final two trophies to secure that domestic treble. But this is the team that we're going to be playing against for this first final, the League Cup against Gaz Metan. Now, these two sides are in the relegation playoff, I mean, so uh, I believe. So, you know, they're kind of two weak sides in a division. You would fully expect us to win these two finals. We won the League Cup last year. We're looking to win the remaining cup for the first time. But for this League Cup final, we've got Olauskis in goal. We've got a back three of uh, Tamas, Pap and Hedger. We've got Lucas, Niagu, Stanku, Inache in the midfield. And we've got, uh, we've got Iancu playing behind and Doné and Kizeru. Uh, Albert Sazi is not fit for this one. He's out with a gash leg. And Latavleki, who's been doing very well in recent weeks, of course, he's a player that's going to be leaving us in the summer, but he's out with a twisted ankle, so he probably won't play any more games for Stalk Bucharest. But Kizeru is our main man, of course. He's now got 42 goals in 46 appearances. Um, he's 29 years old now. He's got a few clubs interested in him, but, you know, what a goal-scoring record. 32 in uh, 31 in the league. There's still two more league games actually to be played. So uh, he could potentially get, you know, 35, 36 goals maybe in those final two games, the way he scores goals. So that would be magnificent. He's probably not going to reach 50, which would have been nice, but... You know, what a magnificent season. Anyway, this is the team for the League Cup final against Gazmetan. As I said, or Gazmetan, sorry. As I said, um, fully expected to win this one. It would be a massive shock if we didn't win this game. Of course, this competition, not a competition regarded as important by the board, but it would be really nice to win it again for the second season in a row as Iyanku comes forward with the ball, plays it all the way back to Niagu, but he's going to bring it forward now. Inache out on this left-hand side. What can he do with it? Plays it into Kazeru. Kazeru with the strike. Kazeru with the goal, and that is his 43rd of the season. As I said, I don't think he's going to reach 50. Of course, he's got this game and three more after this. I mean, it is possible, but um, another good finish here. Gets the ball, lovely touch, and a very, very nice finish to put us in the lead. Just 11 minutes gone in this final. And as expected, we've uh, completely dominated the early proceedings in this one. 70% of the possession. We're just under 15 minutes in. We're on the attack again. Iancu Andone plays it out wide to Lucas. He's got a lot of space to work in. Plays it back into Andone. Andone with the goal. Our record signing, Florin Andone. His season has been hampered by a few injuries. But um, he's back. He's been back for, for a few weeks now, playing well. Good to see him get a goal in this final. He's got a lot of space, as you would expect. He puts it into the back of the net. 2-0. Half-time then, 2-0. Completely dominant so far. Gaz, Metan have not really posed any kind of threat going forward. And that's what you would expect. And I've done the wrong team talk. I just said I'm not happy with the performance. And that strangely seemed to fire up a few of the players. Maybe they don't feel like they've performed well enough. Well, I do. But, um, yeah, 2 new up at half-time. I mean, it's been very comfortable. I can't really ask for more from the team. Maybe a couple more goals in the second half, round off this win and uh, secure the League Cup. 
And it would be nice if we can find a goal early on in the second half. Yanku on the ball. Hasn't got really any passing options. So he has to go all the way back to Pat. But we bring it forward again with Niagu into Yanku once again. He finds Andone. Lucas on this right-hand side. He's got to get it back into the box. But uh, well defended. But Tamas will pick up the ball. And we will get straight back onto the attack. You can see that high defensive line that we've got. It's literally impossible for Metan to get out. And Kazeru makes it 3-0. I think he was played in by Yanku. He was. And that is his 44th goal of the season. He's trying really hard to reach that 50 goal mark. And uh, as I said, the way he... You know, his goal scoring in this uh, league and in this uh, domestic competitions, he may reach it. That's his second of the game. Lovely finish once again. And uh, we're 3 0 up in this game. Gez Matan with their re first real attack of the game. They're coming forward with it, but um, can't really find the pass. He has to go back to Panna, and it looks like we may dispossess it. No, he won't. Taha plays it into Hubnik, and uh, again, really their own first chance of the game, and it goes wide. However, here they come again. Uh, Kurtian into F. Wurton. I think that's how it's pronounced. He's not getting tackled. Panna. Is he going to play it back in? He does to F. Wurton. And is that a goal back or is it offside? No. Gaz Metan have pulled a goal back. As I said, they're starting to show some uh, attacking threat in the last 10, 15 minutes or so. I mean, we just don't pick up the striker. He's allowed to drift in. And it's a decent finish. But, you know, we sh surely are not going to throw this away at this point. And I think it was a case of it being too little, too late. The full-time whistle goes and we have won the League Cup for the second season in a row. So two domestic trophies have been secured. One more for the domestic treble. Of course, Chiagia uh, are up next in the Romanian FA Cup final. We fully deserve to win in this one, as you can see. By the stats, 29 shots, 15 on target, 64% of the possession. If we put in another performance like that, you will surely think that we will win the Romanian Cup as well. So I'm going with an unchanged team uh, from the League Cup final. Why not? The boys that played in that game were excellent and they deserve to play again. This is pretty much a home game for us, of course. We play in the, the National Stadium of Romania but you know, even if it wasn't at home, in a, if it was in a neutral stadium, we would probably win anyway. We're far stronger than Chiajna. It would be a huge, huge upset if we somehow didn't win this final. So uh, you know, we just go out there, do the job that we need to do, and complete this domestic treble. Chiajna have defended well so far, but can we create the first real chance of the game? Kazeru throw and goal. Usually he would stick that in the back of the net. But unfortunately, he doesn't do it and Chiajna remain level on terms. Can we get a goal just before half-time? Lucas with the corner. It is Tamas, I believe, in there with the header. It is Gabriel Tamas for his first ever goal for Stal Bucharest. Just a few minutes to go before half-time. My voice seems to be going. But uh, Gabriel Tamas, uh, kinda, a corner comes in from Lucas. And a lot of players in that uh, scramble. Somehow Tamas minds to find his head on it. And puts us ahead in this final. There is half time. I mean it hasn't been a very exciting final so far. Not many chances to talk about. But as you saw Tamas does give us the lead at half time. Which is the most important thing. I'll tell the players I'm happy with the performance so far. We haven't done anything wrong in the game. Um, would like to see us a bit more of a uh, pose. A bit more of a threat sorry, going forward. Chajna as I said they have defended quite well in this game so far. But I uh, want to see a little bit more from the likes of Iyanku and Lucas. They are real danger players. So, you know, hopefully we can see a bit more from them in the second half. And just a minute into the second half, maybe we can see something from our attacking players. Kazeru has the ball. He takes his shot. He puts it into the back of the net, as you would expect. He missed a good opportunity earlier in the game, but he doesn't miss this time. He's 45th goal of the season, and maybe he will reach that 50 goal mark. He's got five goals left to score uh, two more games after this in the league. I've, I, he, may, he may do it. He may do it. He's got a good chance of doing it. A keeper should have done better there, but I won't care about that. 2-0, and we're on our way to winning the Romanian Cup. But Chiajna may have something to say about that because I think it was offside. They have put the ball in the back of the net. Thiago Saletti's goal is disallowed. Unfortunate for them, but we remain 2-0 ahead. And following that, we are actually on the attack and may make it 3-0. Inache comes into the box, plays it into Kazeru. Kazeru gets his second of the game. 
And uh, it's looking more and more likely that he will get to that 50 goal mark. That's his 46th goal of the season. Inache finds himself in so much space here. And uh, he cleverly plays it back into the middle of the box. And Kazero with an easy finish. He's not going to miss that 3-0. Long throwing comes in though from Chiajna. Hedger deals with it well. But it goes back out to Math uh, Tai. Thiago Saletti's in there. No, it's Saharia with the finish. And uh, Alex Andrew Saharia has pulled one back from Chiajna. Now there's half an hour left. I would like to think that you know we will still comfortably go on and win this game. But they've got one back. Literally just a minute later as well, they're on the attack again. Chiadna really ramping up the pressure. Uh, Bruno Madeira on the ball. We need to close out, of course. Wide players can be a problem for us so far, but Pap deals with it well. And uh, Seri Duik, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Seri Duik has got another one for Chiadna, literally just a minute after they scored their first one. And I, I said that um, I would like to think we, that was a brilliant goal. If you didn't see that goal, please go and watch that. That was a magnificent goal. And Lucas has just come off injured. Magnificent. This game starting to take a bit of a turn for the worse. That was a wonderful goal. Um, well then, we haven't actually got someone who we could... I mean, Inache could switch to that right wing, but then we wouldn't have anyone to play on the left. So I'm going to bring on... Uh, mm, Right, I'm going to bring on Fabio Braga. We're going to switch Stanku out to the right. Uh, we're going to bring Yagu into that Roman playmaker role. Fabio Braga can be the holding man. Um, 25 minutes left to go in the game. I mean, hopefully we don't collapse. That would be a monumental collapse to be 3-0 up and somehow not win it. Let's just hope we can uh, stay strong or you know take the game back to Chiajna and get another goal and secure this win. And the full-time whistle goes at the National Arena. Chiajna did give us a scare in the second half with those two goals. But we have won the Romanian Cup. And we have completed the domestic treble. A fantastic achievement, of course, in my second season in charge at the club. Kazeru, man of the match with two goals. And, um, yeah, what a performance. Uh, Chiajna done very well, in fairness, in that second half. Two quick-fire goals in the 60th and 61st minute but again we were just too strong just too strong and we have won the Romanian Cup so there is confirmation that we have done the domestic treble with Sal Bucharest in fact that was the first time Sal have won the Romanian Cup since 2011 so it's nice to get one on the board um, under my management but as I said, uh, we've got two more games left to play in the league. So what I'm going to do is I'll play through those uh, two league games and I'll come back after and we'll have a little rundown of the season. We'll talk about the league in more detail. Of course, I kind of touched on it briefly in this episode. And we'll also look at some other things that have happened throughout the season as well. But if you enjoyed seeing us do the domestic treble, make sure you're hitting the like button on uh, this video. If you're new to the channel... Uh, make sure you hit, so hit that subscribe button. I upload twice a day. I uh, have a Bournemouth series that I upload at 5.30 every single day, Monday to Friday. And of course, I've also got this style series that I upload at now 8 p.m. every day, Monday to Friday. So two videos a day. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. But for now, it's been Halfback FM, and I'll see you guys in a bit.